Will the city of Portsmouth join Norfolk and Virginia Beach and open its streets to e-scooters? That's the question City Council is trying to answer, and quickly. The city has already met for a series of discussions, and tonight they are meeting again. Penny your size, Laura Queso is here with more from the mayor. Laura? Yeah, and the mayor tells me the city is really running against the clock here. That's because a Virginia House bill allows cities to create a pilot program before the first of next year, or they could risk vendors implementing programs without regulation. So the mayor says if it wasn't for this legislation, he doubts the city would even be talking about scooters, at least now. They are popular in so many cities, electric scooters. Virginia Beach and Norfolk have them. Portsmouth is now looking into the pros and cons of riding that wave, according to Mayor John Rowe. Where can they operate? How many? These are questions on the agenda for city council tonight. We reported over the last few weeks there were discussions about geofencing, max speed limits, and how scooters most likely won't be allowed on sidewalks. But there's work to be done before the end of the year per state legislation. Why did the state do this? I think that um, they were approached by the scooter biz industry, and uh, this is the uh, compromise. This spreadsheet shows some of the initial thoughts for the program in Portsmouth. Recommendations include one or two shared mobility device vendors coming to Portsmouth at one time. This includes bicycles, e-bicycles, and e-scooters. The recommendation is for 300 total that could be in the Old Town area. The mayor says safety is the number one issue. I was downtown last night, 9 o'clock, and there are people uh, walking and running on the seawall, and these things are silent. And I just imagine that <laughs> you're not aware that someone passes you from behind, and if you step one way or the other, you could have a collision. The mayor is also concerned about where people drop the scooters off after their ride is complete. He says he's been able to speak with mayors from other localities, and he's running against the clock to figure out a plan for his city. It's not like we're uh, saying we want scooters. We want to regulate them. We don't want to lose the opportunity. Of course, we'll let you know what happens at tonight's meeting. Stay with us here for updates. Laura Queso, 10 on your side.